Hey guys, and welcome to Free For All number 11 now. I am Bo Shine, and in this video, we're gonna be well, I'm gonna be talking about one of my favorite programs that I watch, and it's called Under the Dome. If you've already heard it, then great, but if you haven't, you should check it out once I've told you a bit more about it. So it's on every Monday night from 10 to 11 or 11 to 12. It is quite late because it's quite a graphic like program and there's quite a bit of blood here and there. But honestly, it's just such a good film. So the background story to it is basically this certain village in America um, one day it was fine but then one day this massive dome came down and it's an undefeatable un should I say penetratable would that be a good description it's basically a massive like glass like dome and you just you can't get out of it so basically they got trapped in there on a random day and no one knew why and for the last three weeks which has been a year and a bit for us because series one then there was a massive gap and then series two is out now but it's been about three weeks for them inside the dome and they've just been surviving on the food oh my god the, f the food they had left already inside and they started at the start of the series they didn't really bother because they thought it it was nothing they weren't really bothered by it but now it's been three weeks inside they're getting quite worried but the crops and all their fields have been burnt because there was a virus going around inside the dome and obviously there's nowhere for it to go I think it was something like that so they just had to burn all the crops otherwise the foods they would eat would be all they would all be poisoned and in the last couple of episodes they've basically been trying to survive trying to survive through the freezing cold temperatures because the atmosphere inside has sort of switched around because you know if you know that when you're in aeroplanes outside near the clouds it is absolutely freezing cold and basically the whole atmosphere is like switched upside down so now they're freezing cold and it's probably warm in the sky and the way they've been dealing with that is just getting as many blankets <laughs> like they've just been getting like all their clothes coats blankets rugs just everything to keep warm through the freezing cold temperatures and also one of the people in there there was this cliff and one of the people who was wanting to murder everyone he tried to commit suicide by jumping off the cliff but what he didn't realize was that was the way out and the cliff was made by when there was a murder of this girl there was a locker it was outside lockers and the locker she was murdered on opened up and there was this massive tunnel which led into a cave and he committed suicide off the cave but then he didn't realize he'd actually gone out of the dome and made it out the exit led you to a park in somewhere in america i'm not quite sure but he got out and no one knew the only way they did know was because when one of the people in there found out that his sister had been the one that had murdered he didn't believe that it was the guy that had jumped off the cliff so one of the other one who was like the hero the sort of rescuer the one that keeps it all together he got a harness on and he climbed down the mountains in search for the body as proof that she was murdered by the guy who jumped off the cliff in doing that I'll mute them in a minute in doing that he pulled himself off that cliff there was some sort of energy that pulled him off it and he ended up down there as well he thought he died but he would got through the outside the dome as well now n at this point none of them thought they'd survived because there was obviously no way out of it it was this massive glass dome 
which you couldn't possibly get out of and then they would got out so that was weird but when a Wi-Fi signal showed up outside the place of the girl's murder um, the, the two like teenage kids who were going out they started getting emails from outside of the dome and they found out that the guy looking for the body who got dragged down um, with his harness on he had actually like they found out he was still alive but meanwhile he's back in now because he came in to save everyone else and the whole like power source of this dome thing is a little egg and it's like a little UFO egg thing and it shines up purple and it's all really weird and basically that egg got thrown off the cliff and what that did was um, block up the exit to get out of the dome so the cliff that they could have got out of to save everyone's lives was now not an option because it just turned into loads of spikes of rock on the floor and it turned into a bottom of a cliff instead of the exit so now they're trapped basically this is getting towards all I know because of the episodes but so now they can't get out and what they're doing now is they're trying to get the egg back in the reason they threw it over was because the main sheriff guy of the town he wanted to get out with his family so they could basically he wanted to get out so they could all be a family basically um, but he failed and ended up getting everyone trapped inside the dome the military who wanted the egg because they're they've got a like a three kilometer perimeter that was confusing. They've got a three kilometer perimeter around the dome so people can't go near it because it is dangerous. They don't know what the hell it is. They tried shooting a massive bomb at it and all it did was destroy the hole outside. It didn't destroy the dome whatsoever or inside. It All it did was completely wreck <laughs> the outside where they were. So they've got the egg now, the military and what the last episode I've watched um, they're trying. They've messaged. They've messaged the military like through the walls. They're the only ones allowed near it. They've written because you can't hear through it. They've basically written on paper. We need the egg back now, otherwise something really bad's gonna happen, and they obviously won't be able to escape and get out alive because it's now the food's very scarce and it's just a dangerous place to be right now and one of the people inside his dad is a very important person on the outside so he's gonna try and go to the place where you can actually get back in and it's like a little red door in someone's um, back garden and you uh, go in there and then you have a weird, a weird vision wrecked. you have a weird vision and then you pop up into a lake which is inside the dome this all sounds very confusing but if you go they have a YouTube um, just type in under the dome if you type in their YouTube they give little trailers for each episode and it's just really good so I think you should go and check it out so thank you all for listening to this sort of a film review I'm not the best at reviewing films but I just thought that it's really good for, like program to watch and it'd be good to share with you guys so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and want more like reviews of like my favourite book, film, something like that, then leave a comment. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share the video on Twitter, Skype, Facebook, whatever. I've been both Shine. I post videos here every two days and I'll see you all later.